Today, I want to talk about the number one thing Supercell could do to change the game on its head and help all those people starting the game right now. Let's get into it. Hey, <laughs> couple of things. So, have my clan war chest opening. I should be doing it in the background here so you guys can see that. But I kind of wanted to talk today about some of the problems I see with the game in general and exactly how they can fix it with one simple move. I think Supercell kind of knows what's going on in the community. They feel the vibe, they feel kind of what people are saying. They have read the Reddit post. There's a lot of people that definitely are not afraid to share their opinions on Reddit and they let Supercell know exactly what they're thinking and so I kind of want to go over a few things or one thing in particular that I think Supercell or Clash Royale could do to possibly change this game for the better and help everybody involved in the whole process. Um, before we get to that there's a couple other minor things that I think they can change also. Uh, the trade tokens for one, somebody posted on Reddit um, I think something that would be absolutely awesome. I don't know if you guys have this in your chat, but in my chat sometimes we have um, some players that post like, for example, they want to get a certain legendary, like Ram Rider. So they post Ram Rider and then they say they're going to give up Infernal Dragon. And then they post another trade, Ram Rider, they say they want to give up an E-Wiz. So they post all these things they're willing to give up to get a Ram Rider. But why not just lump that into one trade so they hit Ram Rider and then they post like every single card that they want within that trade. Um, if I could find the picture I'll put up here on the screen of that trade system. Anyway, I think that would be a lot simpler. It would reduce the amount of trades in our chat because it would allow that person to say, hey, you know, I want Ram Rider. That's all there is to it. But I'll give up like any legendary pretty much and he can list out every legendary. It'll make the trade simpler. That way you select it, you select the legendary you're going to give up or you want and then you give up the Ram Rider. That's all there is to it. So simple, easy way to fix the trade clog. I think that would be awesome. Or I think they've talked about an entirely separate trade tab, which could work also. Okay, so let's get past that. I want to talk about the one thing, the one thing that I think Supercell could do to change this entire game, okay? And I may have brought it up before. I'm not sure um, if I've ever talked about it on the channel before. But I think it's absolutely, obviously, the biggest problem that I see as a new player. I have my son. Hey! Right here is my son, Logan. So, I brought him on here because I'm going to ask him a few questions about being a new player in Clash Royale. Um, what's the number one reason that you've slowed down in playing Clash Royale? Well, I think the problem is, is that... It takes too long to upgrade things to like get max. It costs a bunch of money. You have to like you have to open so much chest to get all the like the right cards and stuff. Mm-hmm. So, I think no, I agree with you 100%. Mm -hmm. The problem that I see obviously is yeah, you get a lot of cards. Like for example, look at my cards right here. So I have, and I'm gonna tell you, I've been playing for three years since the game came out, which yes. is basically a, <laughs> a long time. Okay, March 2nd, it'll be three years, okay? Mm -hmm. And if you go on my Stats Royale, uh, not Stats Royale, Royal API, Royale API, you can scroll down to the bottom of like your profile and you can see how much gold you spent. On mine, it said I've spent seven million gold, okay, which is quite a bit of gold. Wow. <laughs> I know, dude. That yeah. is crazy. But it says I need 16 million total to max everything out, which is insane amount of gold. Three years, I've earned 7 million gold. And I haven't spent any money on the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> anyway, no, but that's true. I mean, I've spent probably a lot of money on the game, quite a bit. And I've gotten a lot of chests from that, those winnings. I haven't won a lot of challenges, but I've gotten a lot of chests. So I spent a lot of money on the game, and I'm still only 7 million 16, so not even halfway to getting the amount of gold that I need to upgrade all my cards. Yeah. Which is insane. Three years. Three years. And I play every day. But some people, how do they get it though? All the gold? Yeah. I think they, well, 
They are either better at challenges, which a lot of new players starting out is not better at challenges. So look at my cards, for example. I have a ton of cards ready to upgrade, so I have enough cards. I have enough cards. The problem is I do not have enough gold. So I think the number one fix Supercell could do to flip this game upside down is reduce the amount of gold it requires for each upgrade. Let me explain. Would that be nuts? Yeah, that would be awesome. No, that would be awesome. Like, because then you could get better at the game, you could have more cards, you could actually challenge people. That's what I'm saying. Instead of just being so low. That would allow, you know, I could break down three separate points. That would allow, number one, okay, that would allow new people coming into the game to not be so intimidated by that high paywall. I mean, mm -hmm. that's the hugest thing that people see. They say, hey, you know, my friend's playing. I have a new buddy that I'm like, hey, come play Clash Royale. He's like, okay. So he comes and he starts playing, but I can't even play with the dude because he's so low level. He's like, dude, this is taking forever to upgrade. I'm like, yeah. Yes, I have a friend that he just started playing Clash Royale and I like was playing with him and he's still like so low and he just like, I cannot win any games. Like, I cannot. I just sit there, keep losing, losing, losing. Because he's so low. You can't even play with your buddies when they start out. Yes. So like my buddies start now, I'm, I wouldn't say super high, but I'm like up there in trophies at 4,900 trophies. My buddies start now, like they're starting out at, you know, they have 1,500 trophies and they're playing like three hours a day because I'm like, you got to get into shape. You need to start spending some money. But that's the problem. You don't want them to spend money on a free game. They should be able to play it and enjoy it. Spend yeah. a little bit of money if they want. But I don't need, they don't need to be paying money to play this game right off the bat, I don't think. Mm -hmm. I spend money because, you know, I think it's a game that I want to invest in, okay? But you shouldn't have to spend money just to get up to a caliber where you can start playing up at these yeah. higher arenas. Because okay. if you have to spend money, that's pretty much losing you money. And this is just a game. <laughs> it is pretty much. It's a game. It's fun. It's very well made. But all games have problems. Every single game in the world has problems. And this game has that exact problem. Right. So, obviously by decreasing the paywall, it would allow players to upgrade through the arenas quicker. It would allow players to get up there. They could actually increase their king tower quicker because they're getting more experience points because they're actually upgrading the cards and so they're going to move right on up and they won't have any disappointment because they're going to be getting better rewards and more cards quicker in the game that's number one number two it will allow players to play a variety of different decks because more of their cards will be upgraded i think my biggest hindrance and i looked here obviously look at my lowest level card here, my snowball. I can't even play my snowball because it's a level one. It's embarrassing. All my friends come over, they're like, why aren't you playing snowball? It's because it's level one and I can't afford to upgrade, poor thing. Wow. Look at him, he's so cute down there, level one-ish. It wow. makes me sad. I cry in, at night and I just can't pick a deck with snowball in it. The same thing with mortar. I used to have a level one until a couple videos back. I never upgraded mortar because I didn't want to waste the gold on mortar. But if I had a surplus of gold, I would be able to do so. But keep in mind, reducing the card cost by the even half would still require about three years, three and a half years, to actually max out your account. Still a long time, and I still a good grind for anybody starting out, but it would let people get up in those higher levels. Okay, so number three. There would just be a whole mindset change in the game. I think everybody would be happier yeah. knowing that they can use every card, they don't have to be so greedy and so scroogey holding onto their coins and gold so long afraid that they can't upgrade a card because of buyer's remorse. I mean, I can't tell you, I've upgraded a card a couple of times just to use it in a deck. Like for example, actually I've, I've been pretty smart with my upgrades, except for the cannon. The cannon I upgraded. I spent all that gold, almost like 250, well, how much does it take to upgrade? 200,000 gold, and I don't even use it anymore. Oh. I'm so sad. Yeah. It hurts my feelings. I know. So, it would just change the whole mindset of the game if they reduce the gold cost by half. It would still allow players to be able to grind, to get to those higher levels, but they could do it quicker. There would be less differences in the levels, especially for new players coming into the game. They would have 
light at the end of the tunnel, yes. be able to play with our friends who've been playing for a while quicker. Obviously we have the tournament standard mode, but sometimes it's nice to play on ladder. I mean, to actually compete. It would still take a little bit, but you could get one deck max within, I would say within a year you could get a deck maxed, maybe even less time if the gold was reduced by half. And you could be actually compete on ladder, ladder with that deck. Whereas now, it takes a long time to get a viable deck mm -hmm. ready to compete. It's very sad, it's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. And so, that is my one solution that Supercell can do to fix the entire game, flip it on its head, and start to actually focus more on people spending money on the extras, the star points. I mean, that's a good end game. The emotes, the tower skins, if those are coming out. Wait, what? And some other things. Anyway, thank you guys for dropping by the channel today. Take it easy and good luck. Bye.